from the unpredictable multiplayer universe. This Spartan life. My life is complicated. It seems like everyone around me is bent on my destruction. I wanted more than this. I wanted to talk to interesting people. The much more significant issue about the book of the future is that it'll be networked and that it won't be frozen. They'll change over time. Producing a talk show inside of a game solved most of my problems. Now I can feel at home while talking to cool people about interesting topics. The video game industry is suddenly being infected by rock and roll hooligans. And before we know it, we may have discovered that the intellectual vanguard is under 13. Can you imagine a world in which 13-year-olds are in control? Actually, yes, I, I can kind of imagine that. So is it too much of a wide-eyed futurist thing to say that games are like early training for the virtual life of the future? Oh no, I think absolutely, and I think that, that with the rise of digital technology, people have learned to inhabit multiple spaces sort of simultaneously. And people used to always talk about you're in the real world or you're in virtual space, and now people are really thinking about them blended. And even listen to some cool music. <laughs> While keeping up with current events. I don't I don't think there are a lot of terrorists on MySpace, unless you count like sexual predators, furries, Dane Cook. Is that really true about Nancy Pelosi? <laughs> of course it's true. <laughs> Of course, other players drop in now and then. And my old life catches up with me. But I, I like it. I guess I'm a lucky guy. <laughs>